everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are setting up my greenhouse. I know I'm out of shot here, but I want you to see the greenhouse. It's set up in my front porch. So you see I have nice big windows here where natural light will come through, but I also have set up some grow lights. The top shelf here, let me zoom in. Okay, as you can see, there is a grow light here nice big two line or two bulb grow light and I do have some something rigged up here I don't know if you can see it okay so I have some wood pieces strung across the opening on both ends there we go and I can hang that up but I don't want to get into that today since I don't have to this greenhouse is five shelves. It's three and a quarter feet wide. And I did build from, at the dollar store, I picked up outdoor floor mats for you, like for your outdoor shoes. They're plastic and I put four of them together to make this large tray. Let's see if we can get down and actually take a look at that. You can see I have duct tape on it, but it'll work to catch any drippings, condensation, soil, water, whatever. So I don't ruin the actual only carpet I have in my house, which is in this front porch. Okay, so next we're going to start some seats. Oh, and I do have uh, a heat mat here and one right below it. They're just 10 by 20 heat mats my first time using them so I have these plugged in they are they're upside down right now but spider farmer oh they are heating up so I'll shut that plug off they are on a smart plug so I can set a timer and before I move out of this space my grow lights actually do have um, a push button timer on them but they also came with this remote. So I'll use the remote to turn on and off the grow lights. All right, so this is where we're going to set up to do some seed starting, but first I need to get this cleaned. And this is what we're using to start the project today. So I have some seed starting mix, two bags of that, and these are 8.8 uh, .8 liter bags. I have my homemade seed starting tray where I can mix the soil and the water. And this is literally, if you ever wanna know how to do this, I could show you, but it's the top of a tote. And then I put a garbage thick garbage bag around it and duct taped it on put some cardboard in the back to make a riser and it works really well next I have a little tool to make holes I don't know if I'll use that pen to mark in my book what I'm planting and when of course I have my seeds and the labels my book I mark it in and gloves, don't know if I'll use the gloves or not. The next thing, of course, I need are trays. Okay, I'm back. So I picked up two pitchers of water, just tap water, and a spray bottle filled with water for when I get the seeds in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to put your soil in a vessel, whatever you're using. Okay. 
and you want to get it uh, pre-moistened. So I'm just going to add about three quarters of the bag there. Nice lofty soil. And just add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want it so wet that it's sopping wet. So you want it wet enough that it holds together. I think that's good. We don't want that any more wet. You see when I squeeze it together, it's not dripping, but it holds together. Perfect. So now I'm going to grab my first tray. And these are just small cell trays. So there's six per square. And there is four eight squares. So there's uh, 24, no, is that right? Yeah, 48 cells. Okay, before I move any further, I wanna get a bottom tray available. Okay, that's great. Okay, so in order to fill these, we just literally pick up the soil. And that's why you put something down. So we have the first set of that tray done. We want to get the second. There we go. All right. So seeds I have pulled are peppers. It's only late January, so peppers. I definitely want to start oregano and rosemary. Petunias, wave petunias, blue salvia and ornamental grass. So let's start on the food first. Okay. I'm gonna start with rosemary. And because these are generic envelopes, I don't have any details. Uh, besides 10 weeks before last frost, 14, 21 day germination, and it's 90 to 400 day maturity. So, lost in a container sounds like for a long time. Oregano, done. Next, I want to get some peppers. Okay, we have a few seeds here. And these peppers I grew last year and they grew beautifully. Okay, so that 
we got 6, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19 pepper seeds. Alright, so next, black velvet petunia. These seeds are super tiny. Can you see those? Okay. So I'm just literally going to scrape the surface here. So I'm not putting them too deep at all. And I'm just going to tap. We can call that one done. And I will be topping that with a dome and putting it on a heat mat. And as you guys can see, that took most of my soil. So let's finish off this bag, get one more tray done. I don't know if this will do one more full tray. We might have to open a second bag. Okay, here's the difference. This soil is too wet. Let's scoot you in. Okay. So if you can see that, you can s I can feel the water coming out of it. You can see it. That's too wet. So let's open up the other one. Okay, let's try this one. Much better. There's no drips, but it's holding together. See that? Perfect. And now let's place some seeds. So what I have left for this planting is wave petunias, blue salvia, and ornamental grass. So we're just going to maybe third, a third, a third. We'll see how it goes. So wave petunias, let's start it off there. All of these seeds just came from their respective plant. Let's see, blue salvia. Don't recall. Oh yes, these are larger. I think these are all seed pods, though. There we 
we go. So I'm just gonna clamp the whole C pod and see how that works. Last but not least on this tray is ornamental grass. So I stopped right here. And the ornamental grass seed is very fine. That's why I wanted to give it a bunch of room. Because I don't feel like taking these one by one. Because again, I'm not familiar with this plant. I just gathered what I thought might be seeds and we're going to stick them in soil and see what they do. That being done, the tray is now full. Let's spritz her down with the trusty water spritzer. And all this does is help moisten the soil on top, giving the seeds a little bit of water to start, even though we pre-moistened the soil they're in, and it helps settle the seeds. I think that's plenty. I got the dome a little wet. You see that? Dirty. I like getting dirty. Okay, so I'm going to put these out there and then I'll show you where everything ended up. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of cleanup, including on my chairs and on the floor. I suppose it's a good thing it's a nice Saturday afternoon. I can do some floor cleaning too. So let's go out to the front porch, which is right through here and I will show you where they ended up. All right, so we go out into the front porch and there they are. I have the grow lights turned on and they're on the heat mats. Okay, so this here is the second tray we did with the ornamental grass, blue salvia and wave petunia. And then on the top has the rosemary, oregano, peppers, and uh, black velvet petunia. I did set the timer using my remote. So I selected, look at the dirt of me, eight hour timer that I show you. Turn them off, turn them on an eight hour timer. I can dim them. I'll link these on Amazon. They're really good. And ooh, I'm not sure what that is. Cycle maybe. So yeah, that is the remote. And that's it guys. I'll check back with you when these start to germinate. When they germinate, I will remove them from the heat mat and remove the domes and I have another three trays I have to get set up but I don't want to do that until further into the winter because those things I will want to plant out and I don't want to grow them on too early. Alright until then take care. Bye friends.